कम्युनिकेशन इज पर्सनैलिटी गुड पर्सनैलिटी इज अस्ट और नॉट लाइक the great question you have asked see first yeah. of all i would like to clear that there are two things one is looks and other is personality personality is yeah. something which define your define what kind of a person you are and right. appearance or physical appearance or your looks you have to do all those necessary thing which are important to have a formal conversation if you are sitting right. in a meeting it is compulsory that you should attire uh, properly you cannot go in your pajamas yeah. to attend a meeting and the kejriwal he was selected as a, a chief minister people make yeah. fun of him that he is wearing normal sleepers in the yeah, meetings yeah, yeah. and very casually however he is saying that i am a simple person and like i don't care much but ultimately you should take care of those things when you are a meeting everyone is wearing yeah. good thing into a puja you cannot wear midi skirts or you know it doesn't right. look good rest is your choice but it doesn't okay. now we can start yes karishma good morning karishma good morning ma'am how are you yes i am good and uh, thank you for asking and how about you karishma i am doing great ma'am everything is fine <laughs> okay that's good very nice to hear from you okay i i think everybody knows about you but still i want your like intro So please let me know more about you. Sure, ma'am. Uh, my name is Karishma. I am from Delhi, but presently I am staying in Gurgaon. I am a married woman. I have two children. Both are boys. I have completed my education uh, from Delhi, and I am an advocate by profession. And I am having a YouTube channel in the name of Advocate Karishma Chauhan, where I do upload the conversational videos. That's all about me. Very nice, lovely. Okay, so you are from Delhi, na? Gurgaon, right? Okay, Gurgaon. Right now, I'm in Gurgaon, but basically, I hail from Delhi. Okay, so you are practicing these days or not about uh, your law? I am practicing, but my registration is still again from Delhi. But I'm practicing here in Gurgaon. I'm just actually doing work from home these days. My own law firm, which is actually situated in Delhi only. Okay, that's good. Okay. Yes. So, Karishma, because you know there are many beginners. Okay. So, even I have spoken to many beginners. I mean to say, on every level, I have spoken to. And uh, to the beginners, I want a question. Uh, I am putting a question, and I want to have an answer from you. That uh, about all those things, what a beginner should do, you know, to 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 master this spoken language. See, there are many things we have to yeah. do. all together it's not only the one thing which can do and master this language the must yes. the first and most important thing is that you have to you have to make sure that why are you learning english if you yeah. keep some goal in front of you you will be feel motivated all through your journey if you haven't have any goal you are just learning english to impress other people maybe after a month or two you feel bored and you just quit the practice so right. for that reason having a goal is really important and then you have to be consistent with your practice and the most important thing is that do not focus on grammar first because when a beginner start right. their journey they most of the time think on uh, think of learning all the grammar rules first right so it right. makes the language complicated actually because right. grammar and vocabulary is right 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 vocabulary somehow it is okay we understand but you know in terms of grammar it is quite complicated no one can understand it in like one day or two day or like within a span of 15 days right, right. something that when you start speaking you will gradually come to know about every grammar rule and at that time it it would be very easy for you to understand so that is my main suggestion that do not focus much on grammar instead try to listen more of english content no one is actually beginner what i feel yesterday i have created a short video on this topic that we say that we are absolute beginner but we are not absolute beginner in this language we have studied this yes. language since our childhood it is the compulsory yes. subject yes yes see if i talk about the other language yes. apps in chinese they are like we can say that we are an absolute beginner in those language but not in english we know yes. all the written part of english language we just need to focus on uh, speaking so you just need right. to put 50% like half of the 50% of english you already know now you right. have right. everybody knows yeah everybody knows yes yeah. everyone knows yeah. we know uh, a b c d we know yeah. many grammar rules yeah. we know uh, vocabulary also so so right. you know many things so now you what you have to do if you will start again with the same thing you are not going to yeah. learn speak 
Your motive should be speaking. So you should start listening and then you should start speaking. That is the two things you must have to focus on. Yes. This is yeah, my point of view. Like about the vocabularies also, I mean to say like the person is a beginner. And that time, you know, suppose I'm talking to some beginner and beginner is right in front of me. That time I shouldn't use like high five vocabularies, you know. I should speak in a simple language. And the topic also on here, on the topic on what I'm having discussion, that should also be like simple, you know. Yeah, not, yeah, I never give uh, like to the beginners to topic on speak on, you know, because I know that the beginners won't be able to uh, do that much. So, yeah. That's true, absolutely true. Okay. I like one more second, second question of mine is that uh, for the uh, communication, if we are uh, giving some speech or we are somewhere, when we are like giving some speech or delivering something, so we are communicating that time, you know. So for communication, is personality, good personality is uh, a must or not? Like we should present ourselves, you know, <laughs> in a good manner and all that, you know. So personality matters or not with a, with a communication? Good question. I would say it's a very great question you have asked. See, first yeah. of all, I would like to clear that there are two things. One is looks and other is personality. Personality is yeah. something which define your define what kind of a person you are. And right. appearance or physical appearance or your looks, which is God, given by the God. Yeah. This is a God gifted. So what I feel is that for communication, yes, personality plays an important role. Personality means that you have to do all those necessary things which are important to have a formal conversation. If you're sitting right. in a meeting, it is compulsory that you should attire uh, properly. You cannot go in your pajamas right. to attend a meeting. That defines that what kind of person you are. You're not focusing right. on that aspect. Right. Yeah. I still remember, I would like to give you a practical example. When the Kejriwal, he was selected as a, a chief minister, people make yeah. fun of him that he's wearing normal sleepers in the yeah, meetings yeah, yeah. and he's very casually. However, he's saying that I'm a simple person and like I don't care much. But ultimately, you should take care of those things. When you are a meeting, everyone is wearing good clothes, dressing up in a proper manner, and you are just going in your pajamas. It doesn't look good. But we, right. we people say, all people say that when you are uh, you have to dress as per the occasion. If you're going into a puja, you cannot wear midi skirts or, you know, it doesn't right. look good. Rest is your choice, but it doesn't look good. Especially if you're going in a pub for the party, yes. you cannot wear sari. It doesn't no, look no. good. You, yeah. you, does not matter how beautifully you dressed up, no matter how beautiful you are looking, but until you dressed as per the occasion, you are not going to appreciate it. So right. this is why I say that personality is important. It defines that what kind of person you are. So personality means you have to do all those necessary things which are important to show you as a person. If you are presenting yeah. yourself in public or even in a single person, front of single yeah. person, you should know that what kind of uh, makeup I should wear, what kind of dress I should right. wear, how mm -hmm. do I sit? Um, now, if I start having conversation with you in like half lying position, does it look good? You feel offended. No, yeah. Actually, many people do this, you know. I've seen you. Yeah. Know. I have yeah. also seen. I don't like it. <laughs> even I, no, even I don't like it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, this is something I like, even, I don't like I, even I don't like one thing that uh, somebody I have seen uh, one or two person that only one person I have seen that while having that conversation he was sipping his tea you know and I told him even I was having a tea but I didn't have that time I just kept my cup over there you know so yes. for me it doesn't look good now. for me it doesn't look good yeah uh, as you told me I still remember there was one one instance when I was having in the situation that I had a cup of like uh, tea in my hand and I have had that conversation and I was you know dying to have that uh, cup of tea but yeah. still I hold my emotions I didn't take a sip from that and I just yeah. keep it and it was like cold by the time the session ends but I was not uh have that courage to drink in between it doesn't look good maybe you are feeling comfortable yeah. that but the other person who's talking to you he might not feel comfortable so we should always mm -hmm. do the things with other person also like from the other per person's perspective Perfect. How does he feel if I will do this thing? Yes. So there are a few things we should always keep in our mind. Like when we are going to have a communication, we are having conversation, we are delivering a public speech, we are attending a right. public meeting. We should take care of these basic things, the basic etiquettes, we call them. So yes, so that's important.
so very well answered by you like you very well explained everything her personality plays a good role you know while communicating with somebody so it's very important you know yeah and like uh, we right now we spoke about some different people how the people are like i'm i'm asking you under yeah so yeah i'm asking you like what uh, what kind of a person like karishma is you know if i ask you like you are introvert you are extrovert you get angry very soon or you are cool and tell me something about you i uh, i will like i will love to hear from you Okay, so if you ask me, I am a kind of extrovert person, but not at every place. I have seen myself that I rigid myself at some places. I cannot go and start the conversation. That's the problem with me too. But if I talk about on conversating between like gadgets through the gadgets, I am very much comfortable with this. Maybe it is because of the time, because it's been two years. I have been talking to the people like this. Very much comfortable. but if you will ask me to go to my neighbor's house and just you know start having conversation i may feel shy so in yeah. that perspective i am still introvert but yes i'm not that introvert that if i need something and there is some kind of emergency and i'm yeah, not yeah. able to pick up because of i'm an introvert i have seen introvert people even if they are in some need they don't get that courage to ask other person or talk no. to the other i'm not that kind if i need yeah. i will do it i know that i'm that much confident confident so i am an extrovert second thing you asked me that uh, like i get angry easily or not yes these days i do get angry very easily i don't know the reason maybe i am not getting that freedom which i used to get before marriage for that reason i get angry very nobody, easily nobody like nobody actually nobody gets the freedom which uh, every girl has before you know before marriage so that That's freedom is something else and the freedom after marriage is something else okay so <laughs> No, That's like true. in our parents' house, no, in our parents' house, we are liberal to do like anything. Whenever we want to sleep, we can sleep. Whatever we want to eat, we can eat. But there are like in uh, after marriage, you know, we are actually what the reason is that we are so much involved with the family, with the children, you know, yeah. So that the reason we can't do all these things which we used to do in our parents' house, you know. So that is something different, yeah. So sometimes for that reason, I feel that I get angry like very easily. So it should. So it is children, not. Like, yeah. Sometimes if your children are fighting, so what do you do that time? You favor one child, or you try to calm both both of them. So this is the this is the common situation which happens. You know when the children are there in the house. It's the very complicated question. I should not do that. But yes, these days I'm favoring one child, and my husband doesn't younger, like this. The younger one, na? No? The younger one. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. very common obviously for a mother yeah. both child are equal but if somebody is like older than we will try to make him understand right uh, like compared to the younger one but yes it should not happen because my husband is playing a good role at that place he doesn't yeah. take favor of my younger one i have never seen him he always even you know in front of elder one he told me why yeah. Yeah, you are always telling him to sacrifice why he will do ask your younger one why is he disturbing him so yeah, that time yeah. my smile is beautiful and i when i see him okay like you are you are happy when like fa- when father takes his favor yeah. he feels really happy so yes i'm doing it because the younger one is younger one i'm not able to make him understand that you are doing something yeah. wrong he will do it so at least you yes. have you are grown up you should understand my my point is that not to differentiate and you know yeah. like in one the situation actually the situation that time become very complicated you know if we favor some if if we favor the elder one the younger one will be telling you why you are favoring every time my bhaiya and all that you know so these are the many things i been mean, i to remember when my children were young you know that time so that's what i ask you and like very one more question of mine is very personal something so don't mind if i ask you okay So like, I think you you all were a love marriage, right? Um, sorry, actually I got a call, ah, so I couldn't yeah. hear. So I was asking you, yours was a love marriage, right? You like you were uh, now you are a Bengali. Before that you were you were like your surname was Chauhan, right? Before, and now it is like uh, what is your surname? Your ah. child. saha right okay yeah. saha so what happened so when did it happen like in the college on the school time 
or like uh, like tell me something when i was working i used to oh, work you were working at that time yeah i used to work and he was also working at the same time so he just you know we started having conversation and then we became friends we were friends for 3 or 3 and a half years and total it took 7 years for us to get married so it's a long relationship and after that we got married and it's been 8 years like yeah. completed so uh, yeah so he conveyed your parents very easily or you were frightened to tell them this thing i was because frightened not they like, we not i we didn't dare to we didn't dare to you know <laughs> yeah i was like literally afraid uh, before telling them and they were not obviously agree not like his uh, mother was also not agree so that's why it took like seven years the like, whole seven years to like uh, get into this marriage so but like finally after like convincing them three years to two to three years we just trying to convince them and this is how we got married finally so now finally like both the families are happy and no such issues at all <laughs> So, can you speak Beng uh, like Bangla? Yes, I can speak Bengali. I oh. can understand Bengali very well. Okay, you can speak also. Yes, I can speak also. Oh, so nice. So everybody speaks in Bangla, like your children and your. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody. All, but at. in like this time i am not you know encouraging uh, my child to speak every time bangla but when he is talking to his uh, grandmother he yeah. makes that he is speaking in bengali language okay so do don't you wear that karishma your video is first sometimes it happens when i got call yeah. it stuck sometimes yeah, yeah. Yeah. So don't you wear that white and uh, white and red uh, bangle? What we call it, Bengali. I used to wear, but uh, during pregnancy, when I was like going for the delivery, it was uh, compulsory to remove all the ornaments on your hand. Yeah, right. That time I removed them, but after that, I didn't even get time to you know wear them again. So now Durga Puja is just around the corner, yeah, so I right. need to wear them. If you will watch my previous video, you can see that I, I love wearing that. Okay. Okay. And one video like you have become so fluent these days because your first video I had seen, and that video was with some. Uh, his name was from H alphabet H. I don't I remember the exact. He Manshu sir from clapping. He Manshu, yes. yes. <laughs> so while we watching the and you know and your hair is also so curly, you know spiral. Maybe this is. <laughs> yeah. They are they are just coming again after uh, like few months they will I'll cut chop them and uh, then curly hair will be on my head you can see them okay. so you have to straighten them every time right yes I love uh, straight hair I don't know why but I feel that my face uh, changed when I change my hair style so like for yeah. few days I keep them curly and then after like few months I just uh, straighten them again yeah you look very different you know. The that time what you were looking at now such a different because the curly hair no that is so you were looking like a so young girl you know I still you are young still you are young but that time you look <laughs> too young okay so Karishma I am done with all the things you know and uh, have you any questions or should I wind up the session? No, ma'am. I do not have any questions today because I have another session with someone, and we can wind up today. But whenever I have a session with you, I just smile throughout the video because I love having conversation with you. Yeah, even I say it, see, see it. Yeah. And you gave me a precious time, so that's why I am very thankful to you, Karishma. Yes. Don't tell me, ma'am. I'm always there. Whenever you just ask me, simply drop me a message, and I'm always be there. <laughs> no issue. Yeah, that's good. But your children are there, no? So that's why I think sometimes you don't get time. Now I. No, no. I am able to devote time because you know, actually, from last few days, exams were going on, but now it has end. So uh, now, like from Tuesday onwards, I'll be available till like eleven to two thirty. I'm free. I can do oh, my work. That's... So bye, Krishna. Yeah. Okay, ma'am. Bye. Same. Have a good day and God bless.